Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. The cause for dry skin because it could be weather, but a lot of people have dry skin even when uh, the weather is warm and uh, you know so sultry. So, what is the reason? Why is it that a person has dry skin? Yeah, if you see the uh, subject of microbiome, so we have around. Uh, 50 or higher, some people say 50 some people say 100 some people say 10 whatever so certain amounts of uh, trillions of cells uh, which is made our uh, whole unit as a individual so for every cell you have 200 to 500 microorganisms depending on a person say suppose for every cell if you have uh, uh, 300 microorganism in your body Uh, you can calculate uh, if you are having 100 trillion cells 100 into 300 trillion microorganisms are there in the body mm. uh, if you say uh, the size of it when you collect all of them together it's about 1 and 1/2 liters it is uh, otherwise if you want to talk it in terms of solid it is the size of your liver so this these are called floras so the maximum of it is in the uh, gi tract from the dental to the anus uh right. the larger population every organ has had its own flora okay the brain has its own flora the liver has its own flora the gut has its own flora like that the lung has also its own flora whatever so now the second largest population of microorganisms in the body is the skin right skin is maximum pumped up with huge amount of microorganisms your skin is maybe other than uh, more of more than the cells or more more of microorganisms okay they play a lot of role they play a lot of balance for you to keep a healthy skin it's very important okay that is why some amount of skin flora should go into your stomach that's why in 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 ancients were so clever they used to eat their food using their fingers the hand right hmm so by eating uh, uh, with spoon and fork where your skin is not coming in contact with your food the skin cells are not going to go inside your system at all this is why now your question is this is the basic understanding i want you to have it now your question is the dryness of the skin okay so that yeah. that one of the major areas what i notice is the soap and the shampoo soaps are normally made with sodium hydroxide they are caustic soda they call the lye liquid soaps are made with potassium hydroxide they are also lye these both are not good for us plus you cannot use good quality oil which is going to cost you a lot of money so we use tallow t a l l o w the fat which is converted into oil uh, harvested from the uh, animal kingdom because we we grow so much of uh, uh, bulls uh, for uh, beef uh, it's a, it's a huge industry all around the world and a uh, huge amount of exports take place you know this uh, fat accumulation of these bulls by overfeeding with gmos you know what is gmo right the genetically modified organics Yeah. they grow so much of corn and other things by gmo gmo gives you larger yield and uh, with a lot of hormones uh, growth hormones uh, these uh, bulls are been uh, fed so they grow very big and very fast for uh, better yield of uh, flesh for our business uh, endeavor so what happens is the accumulation of fat in such huge large bulls are converted into tallow and then that sold to the soap industry so every day when you get up and go for your bath you are rubbing yourself with beef fat and sodium hydroxide you know that yeah you can't help it so that doesn't mean i'm asking you to make your own soap at home you have no choice there so the shampoo is also the same thing you know and uh, there are frothing agents are also there there are there are other chemicals let us not talk about it now so now what happens is uh, uh, things like lauryl and uh, sodium hydroxides and all these things along with the uh, uh, fat component of the beef which is called the tallow 
all these things one of the major reason for uh, dryness it doesn't happen in all the people where people start uh, some kind of imbalance in your in, in the microbial system of the skin and uh, these agents uh, do not help us they tend to uh, you know dry up your skin very fast there is one more reason is also found you know there are a lot of people who feel uh, 30 after 30 35 years 40 years their their feet gets dried up very fast yeah. when your feet so gets it. yeah when your feet gets dried up very fast you, you you can understand one thing you are not drinking enough water so you carefully calculate your uh, uh, drinking water pattern of the day which is easily traceable from your memory and then you if you if you drink uh, uh, two big glasses large glasses of 250 ml 500 ml of water additional the dryness of the feet can be eliminated within 3 weeks so you are you are you are running short of water there the consumption of water is not enough this one thing which i would like to tell you so basically our environment our polluted environment uh, our chemical based soaps and shampoo the imbalance of microorganisms of the skin due to your food and nutrition and other lifestyle leads to lot of dryness at that time if you can avoid soap and shampoo for a period of time go for the conventional uh, powders like moong dal powder and all that uh, and start start using them instead of soap and uh, drinking uh, uh, the, the required uh, water intake all those things you can eliminate this dryness of the skin okay thank you very much for spending your quality time thank you very much for your attention i wish you enjoyed this session see you later